Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. It's so good to see you guys. And as always, I am just honored to be in your presence. I'm honored to be your sister. And I thank you all for coming to hear what thus saith the Lord. So people of God, this is going to be a direct word from the Father. And before we get into this word, we're going to pray and also um, have you all understand that this particular word is not coming from a spirit of condemnation. It's not coming from a spirit of judgment, okay? Because I'm the last one to be able to judge anybody. But you will need to understand that this is a direct word from the Father, okay? So if you have any questions about this word, I always encourage you all. I even made a video to help you all test the spirit. I will not be able to answer any of your questions because I cannot change. I cannot modify. Okay. And I can't answer things for the Lord. So when I speak, thus say of the Lord, your questions have to go directly to the father. The Bible says, show yourself approved, talk to him in prayer, test the spirits, test the word and wait for the Lord to give you confirmation and direction as it relates to any word that comes from me or any other messenger of the Lord. Okay, guys. So there is a righteous anger, people of God, that has is, is coming down from the heavens. It is a righteous anger. God is not pleased with the church right now. God is saying that we have turned the church into a circus. He says that he is not pleased with the mockery that has been placed in his body, that is within the body of Christ. And so he wanted me to speak to the body as well as most specifically leaders is what he's referring to. And the Lord is saying that this word is not for every single person that hears it, but he says that it is for many. And for those of you that need to hear this word, it will resonate in your spirit immediately is what God is saying okay so before we get into the word before I give you the written word that the Lord has given me I want to go ahead and pray with you all dear Heavenly Father dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth we come to you humbly and hungry for the word on today father we ask that you open up our hearts and minds to receive knowledge and wisdom from you we invite Jesus to become our Lord and to rule and reign in our hearts Father, we ask that you dispatch the angels to surround us during our fellowship. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and we thank you for being our source in all that we do. Father, we thank you for your mercy, and we want to give you the glory right now. Father, we ask that you send your Holy Spirit to help us obey you to help us be able to hear from you and to stay in alignment with your plan for our lives. Father, not my will, but yours. I ask that you allow the Holy Spirit to flow through me as I read your written word to the people on today. Father, we seek your wisdom and insight, and we want to have a deeper understanding of all circumstances concerning us. Father, fill us with your knowledge so that we may walk on the straight and narrow path that you require of us, God. Lord, help us to be faithful in following all your ways in all the days of our life in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray amen this is what the lord says i am rebuking you because you did not come to me first in all of your ways as my word says in jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 through 2 woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and dri driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. God then says leaders, as a result of your disobedience, my sheep are scattering and you have made a mockery of my church. As my word says in Jeremiah chapter 10, verses 21, 
For the pastors are become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore, they shall not prosper and their flocks shall be scattered. The Lord then says, words are being spoken to the church that were not from him, but from the opinions and feelings and passions and desires and familiarity and because you heard it somewhere else. The Lord says that it is my body's responsibility to test the spirit, to come to me and get the final say on all messages that are proclaimed to come from me, the Lord, your God. The Lord says, as for my children, you are all confused. Why? Because of your lack in seeking me because of your lack in seeking understanding and because of the heavy influence of false prophetic words, warnings, revelations, teachings, and all other messages afar. The Lord says, many of you are confused as to what your assignment is in the body of Christ. Many of you have taken on positions in the church that I did not place you in. The Lord says, no one should step out on their own understanding, but should be seeking all wisdom through me. God says, there will be consequences for all of your actions because you went ahead of me. The Lord says, wake up church. It is time for many of you to come back to the altar it is time for many of you to revisit my word and study it is time for many of you to sit down with me and understand your posture in the body of christ the lord says i need my leaders and i need my sheep my beloved to come to the altar for a time of consecration training and deeper understanding of my will for your life in this season. This is my word, says the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. People of God, we have got to be still. We have got to wait on God. We have got to trust the Lord. We have got to seek God in all our ways. Okay? All right? So people of God, that is the word from the Lord. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I want you to be blessed. I thank you all for subscribing and becoming members of Shanika Byers United for Christ. I thank you for your support. I thank you for all of the things that you've already purchased from our shop. I will be introducing our cause, um, the organization that we're going to be donating to shortly sometime this week, maybe next week, so that you all can see what the Lord is doing in this ministry. And so, guys, if it's the Lord's will, I will be back here sometime soon to serve you. I love you all. Bye.
Thank you.